Uh, that's a really win for us. I'm really proud of our effort, our attention to detail. I thought our defensive um, intensity and pressure really set the tone for this game. Sure, questions in the room? Keisha, how nice to have these two back on the, the court full time for you now. Feels great. <laughs> Feels great to be able to have, um, you know, all of our players. I mean, we're, we're still missing Nia. That will be complete once Nia comes. But, um, you know, obviously having the luxury of her and her back really helps our basketball team, so. I mean, is this the team, once you get back, that you were sort of expecting to see going forward for this season? Yeah, absolutely. Um, obviously, the addition to AD, that was a little bit different, but a, a great addition um, for them coming and helping us. Um, but, yeah, this is our squad. Really, really happy with who we have on this team. Um, uh, just trying to ask uh, both, both of you were just, obviously the defense was, um, despite what they like, how bad the defense was in the last time, so, and as was good, what goes into being able to get those tracks down, get those switches down, and still have the communication locations behind it? I mean, that's our job. You know, we have a plan every game, and that's the plan is, was to get it down. And I think that's what we did. Um, we've been struggling with, with it for the past couple of the games. And I just think we just set our minds to just really get it down today. And I think that's what we did. Thanks. Eric, that last play at the end of regulation, I'm guessing that's because that you wanted to do clock down and mm -hmm. pull me to three. Of them. Absolutely not. It's not that. <laughs> <laughs> the shot was definitely to go to um, AD. But as a point guard, it's time awareness. I looked up, it was 2.3, made a basketball move and hit the shot. Uh, Steph, a couple times you went down, you're holding in the air, you're in a couple times. Just how, how did that feel for you? How are you feeling now? Just good. That's good. Good answer. <laughs> Tip and I asked before the game what your sort of vision this would be, getting a win was number one. Was this what you had sort of hoped? I mean, getting back into the rhythm. Obviously, overtime was great for you having, I think, seven points. Uh, I mean, I didn't know it was going to be, you know, Sorry. <laughs> as much as I was out there. But, hey, like I told you before the game, I'm here to do whatever my team needs. And uh, one of my roles, roles is to be the best two-way player. Um, so I just try to do the best of my ability, do that to the best of my ability. Go to one on Zoom. Uh, we'll go to Emmanuel Blaze. Go ahead, Emmanuel. Yeah, I know I'm supposed to be professional, but tip it was good to see that 15 back out there today. 29 minutes, 21 points. When Erica hit that shot at the end, what went through you guys to go back out there and finish this game in overtime? Exactly what you said, finish the game. You know, I think um, we wanted it, you know, and um, and as you can see, our defense showed that. And like you said, Tiff is a hell of a person, man, hell of a player, and she really closed it out for us. Yeah. Can you and Tip will talk. I mean, you watched this team play the last month or so for the most part from the bench to see what they did tonight, what you guys did to get the win. Is that something you can build on going forward as an S coach? I mean, the team that you were hoping to have as a roster is now sort of minus the yeah. attack. So you're hoping for having the energy and the effort to get this win tonight? Yeah. Um, absolutely. That's uh, our. Our number one job, our number one goal is to be the, the, the toughest, hardest working team. And I think that's what we showed tonight. That was the main goal, to be the hardest working team. If we lose being the hardest, toughest team, we live with that. Um, all right, let's go back to Zoom. Gabrielle Lewis, go ahead. Coach, what's, you know, you lost this team less than a week ago. What's the difference tonight, not only in play, but also just in mentality for everyone? Yeah, I think Erica just just hit it on the nail. Um, we needed to get back to being being ourselves. And we feel like in order for us to, to win games, we have to be the hardest working, toughest team out there. And I think tonight we just we displayed that at a high, high level. Um, let's go back to Emmanuel Blaze. Coach, you was able to get 10 uh, 10. Uh person rotation out there today. 
everybody contributed, even with Nas got seven rebounds and two points. What was that feeling like for you to see that rotation get out there and do what they had to do? Yeah, I mean, we, we talk about it. Everyone's capable on this team. And when it's somebody's time, then they have to be ready to step up. Um, and tonight, everybody who got in contributed in a way that we really needed them to contribute. Um, so if that's what we have to do moving forward, then that's what we'll do. We're a team um, with 12 players. And so every single night will probably be a little bit different. You know, obviously we'll have our main people out there playing majority of those minutes. But when it's time for other people to step up, um, we hope that they're ready to do that. Uh, Michelle Vogel, go ahead. Uh, yeah, this is for Tiffany, please. Tiffany, I know you said that obviously you want, you want to do everything you can for, for the team. And I know you've meant a lot to this Atlanta franchise. Can you just sort of put in perspective, um, you know, the, 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 this whole franchise, some of the changes that have happened and, and everything that you guys are trying to, to do and what it means to you to be back on the court and be able to, to help in that perspective? Uh, I think everybody can see the changes, and I'm just glad I'm able to be here and be a part of it. Um, definitely wanted to stay in Atlanta for uh, as long as I could, and just for them to even make the changes that they made and make it a place for, where players want to play, um, that shows a lot. So, like I said, me going out there and doing my thing is just like probably a thank you just to for them coming in and making all those changes and bringing all the players they brought in. And, um, our team is great. All our teammates are great. We all get along. Um, so just happy to be here, man. I can't say no, no more. <laughs> you guys good? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.